All right, let's look at the different ways of using uh, Corel clip art. We just want an outline of an animal, and here's three that I've kind of picked at random. We can go in on this one like it's a black silhouette and just come over here and click on the no color. And we've got a simple outline of the cow. Then we get into some of these like this that are colored. And we can come over here and click it, but we've still got all the spots inside. And what we can usually do then is go up and do an ungroup. And then we can try to select the spots. And in this case, the spots all come out as one. So we can just delete it. And we've got another cow. Now we come to some of the more difficult ones like this horse. Okay, on this horse, we've got kind of a different setup. We've got all these gray areas and stuff that may or may not be outlined. This may just be a color fill, and the outline itself may not be there. But as we notice, all these black areas and like the big cheekbone, those are all going to show up as a two-line process. So let's start out, and let's right-click and get rid of all the color, or left left click and get rid of all the color then we can do a right click and that will color in the white outlines like down here where we had the color now we've got a black outline around it so now we can see it alright then is what we need to do is go ungroup it and then we can zoom in here and we can start getting rid of some of these things that we don't think we need and really the 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 easiest way sometimes is to uh, right click on the red and turn that red and see what it is. Well, that's part of the main, so we can't get rid of that. Um, this we could probably go ahead and delete. You know, we, we click on this one and turn it red. And we see what that is. And it's kind of, well, that's, that's kind of the belly, so we can't get rid of that. But here's one inside. Let's move it over and see what we got rid of there. And let's see. Let's click this one and try moving it out. And see we lost part of the main and some of the long flowing figures. So we can't really do away with that one. So this one's actually kind of a difficult one. It's going to take you a long time to go through it and get the parts, unless you just want to go around the outline and not worry about all these lines in the center. It can be done, but you will need to probably do a lot of uh, breaking apart and, and cutting of areas. Uh, for example, let's go to this one and see I want the main, but I don't need all this inside line. So is what we can do is we can come down here and get our node editing tool and we can break that node apart and then we can come up here and say we want stuff from here, break that node apart and then we have to break apart those two and then we can come in and delete this half and end up with just that part. And same here, we can come down here and we can say, okay, I need all that main. So let's go back in here and start breaking nodes. And once we break one, and well, I guess that didn't break it, there we go. Uh, now I can start following this line around and trying to figure out where it goes. Now we're going to have to zoom in here and figure out where that goes. If I get rid of that line, I'm all right. If I get that one and combine it with that one, um, you know, maybe here I can get rid of this whole thing. And that's just to select it and hit delete on your keyboard. Now let's take that one and hold the shift and do that one. And we will combine those two. And now those two are together. But this ear here, here looks a little bit weird. So we'll convert those lines. And now we can go ahead and pull this ear out to where it looks more like a normal ear. So let's come in and see what that one is. And as we can see, that's part of the jaw down there. So we'd have to come back in here with our node tool 
whoops, with our node tool and maybe break it there and then we want it around to this node break it there uh, break it apart and then we can come in and delete that half and we still have the jaw down there so as you can see it's going to take a lot of work we get inside here and see I've still got a line in here and again I can come up and just start grabbing some of these nodes. Well, I guess that goes clear around the outline of the head. So let's take a look here. If we get rid of these, I can delete that. I can delete that. I can delete that. I can delete that. I can delete that that we might as well delete because we just want the outline let's get rid of this little line here and now we kind of have the horse's head but as you notice we're kind of blocky so a lot of times is what I can do on that is I'll just come in and select those and convert those lines to curves then I can go ahead and kind of stretch and pull those lines out and round them out a little bit and I can actually come up with a fairly decent pattern of a horse uh, you know from from this drawing if I really liked this horse that was in here but it, it's just a matter of going in and pulling on the lines and trying to round things out to where you like the way things set now and see we can grab nodes and move them and we can just go around and work the whole pattern like that and getting rid of some of the stuff we don't want uh, we get over here to the main whoops let's try to get back in here and we see we've got lines outside of the lines and everything else and again we can go back in and we can say let's select this one and let's break this node apart and then usually what I do is I grab the node and figure out which line I got I don't want that one so I'll delete that node and then this one I don't want so we can delete that node uh, let's come down here and just start marquee selecting some of them well now this in here I want so we want this one to come down here and we want this black line to replace the red um, but we want to come down to there so we'll select the red go in here and select this node tell it to break apart and then that should let me come down here and get this end and then I can just hit delete now I can select that one, hold the shift, select that one, and I can go in and, no, it won't let me combine those. Oh, because I'm on the wrong tool. I can select that one, hold the shift, select that one, and then I should be able to, well, I still can't. I must be selecting the same piece. I can select that, hold the shift, select that and then combine it and now I've got that as one flowing piece now I've got to figure out now let's turn that red again by right clicking on red okay so now I've got all these extra lines in here so it's kind of you just go in and grab a node and see whether you got the one you wanted to delete and try to follow them back and just keep selecting them and hit delete now this one I can connect to that one and kind of finish off that part of the main um, oh come on oh, the other thing you can do is come grab your hand tool and then you can get it rolled down to where you want and zooming in and out on the mouse sometimes works sometimes doesn't now here I kinda like these black lines better so let's come in here somewhere and add a node and break it 
and then I can possibly get rid of that. Then I can get rid of all this on the black. Uh, that zigzag there, so let's pull that one back up. And I'm going to come in here and hook that to the to the red. Uh, but it, as you can see, it's just kind of a long drawn out process, but I can come out with a decent thing by deleting nodes and working on it. All right, some clip arts you bring into Corel Draw. Let's let's go with this donkey that was colored. Okay. Corel has a, a big way of this brown, and then we've got this other tan. So this tan is going to be one outline, and then the brown color will be another outline, and the black will be another outline. And we can see part of those by right-clicking on the no fill. Or, whoops. We can see part of those by left clicking on the no fill and we still have lines left. Um, we still have the back of the donkey and everything else. We've got an outline but we still have all these other weird colors in here. Now why when I did a no fill when I had the whole object selected it didn't delete these I'm not sure. But there's probably other lines in here too that we're not seeing because they were white. So if we left right click on the black will color the lines and so these were lines now if we break this thing apart or ungroup it I guess we'd call it here we can go in and get rid of this but as we can see it's lines over lines over lines over lines over lines and why they didn't do this in one piece let's go try to get rid of this thing and you know why they did this in three four pieces i'll never know and see then we've still got this piece left all right see that's his nose so we can't get rid of that one but see is they drew his nose as one piece and then the body is another and we can undo that we can probably go in here and weld that to that and get rid of it. Now we've got the, the nose as we can see in one piece but see we still have a lot of things that are ungrouped. So some of these colored pictures is going to take a lot of work to come up with just a plain silhouette outline of what you're after.